to show you my favorite adjustment layers to color grade your photos in Photoshop. They are very powerful if you use them uh, using mask. So please, if you don't know what is a mask in Photoshop, refer to my previous video where I explain why you shouldn't use Photoshop without using a mask. So we are back in Photoshop and today I'm going to show you my favorite adjustments uh, to use to color grade my images. So there are a few and to see all of them you just need to go to adjustment just here. So this is an image from Krakow, Poland and so far I only did the um, development in Camera Raw and the cleaning and sky replacement. So we did the cleaning part together in a previous video. So if you want to learn how to clean uh, your images, go check out this video. And here I'm going to continue this image. We uh, also saw in a previous video how to use Adobe Color to determine uh, what color harmony we want to work with and to know what are the colors uh, that are already in the image, that how we can manipulate them. So if you don't know what is Adobe Color, you can also go and check out this video. And today I'm going to show you the adjustments uh, available to you and uh, what are my favorite ones when I did to color grade my images. So I'm going uh, to open Hue and Saturation, um, Curves, Color Balance, and 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 um, selective color and also gradient map okay so i'm going to toggle off all of them and we're gonna do a step by step uh, video so we're gonna start with u and saturation so u and saturation you can see there is the u the saturation and the lightness so you, there is also a hand where you can uh, pick a color. So for example, if I want to pick uh, the color of my ground, I just uh, click and then you can see that it's mostly uh, blues. So if I want to change the U, I just take uh, this slider here and you can change the U. Well, that's kind of weird, of course, um, if you want to make it realistic. Don't go too far, otherwise it doesn't look great. Okay, you can also uh, use the saturation slider or the lightness. Okay, so to reset uh, the adjustment, you can click on this little arrow here. Okay, and this is reset. So this is one I like to use. Uh, sometimes I just want a bit more uh, saturation or change the hue very slightly towards, uh, you know, uh, the right or towards the left. But this is uh, usually very uh, slight. Then we have curves. I think curves is very powerful, but sometimes a bit complicated to understand when you just start. So for colors, for example, if I wanted to have more blue on this ground here, you can go on the blue channel. So this is pretty dark. So I am going to uh, take this point here and go up a little bit. So you can see if you go up, you're going to have more blue. If you go to the right, you're going to have more yellow. Why? Because yellow is the opposite color of blue. So that is how curves uh, work. This is the same here if you go on top. So here, this is the shadows. Here are the highlights. So you take the point. If you go to the left, you add more blue to the highlight. If you go down, you add more yellow um, to the highlight. You can also add more points. So here there will be the midtones and you can add more blue or add more yellows uh, if you go down. Okay, so I want to reset that. Uh, and of course, that's the same for uh, red, for example. We have uh, some red here. If I wanted to add more, I could just go up. If I want to remove the red and add more cyan, I can just go down. So yeah. Mm. 
now color balance this is my favorite tool where i use i use it uh, i think 70 percent of the time so here you have tone shadows mid-tone highlight so if you go to shadows and you want to add a uh, blue in the shadows let's add some blue some cyan and then uh, in the highlight i want to add the opposite color so some yellow and some red and you can see that it's already color grading a bit adding some uh, style okay if i'm going to reset it if you uh, change only in metals it's going to be more evident that you did something let's say i want my color um, my photo to look more blue okay so i think it's it's adding blue everywhere almost so it's a less uh, it's a bit less subtle than just uh, using shadows and highlight but this is how you like it and this is up to you selective color uh, so you can choose a channel so red yellow green cyan blue magenta white neutral and blacks so you can target a color so for example if, if we go to red and we want um, the church to be uh, even more red let's add some magenta yellow we don't want uh, science we want the opposite so that we want it to be darker usually when you bring a color darker it will uh, look more saturated so here we've been targeting the red but uh, let's reset it which can be nice and add a nice filter is uh, to use white neutral or black that would be a little bit like color balance so neutral will add a nice filter on top of uh, the wall image so for example i want more blue i take down the yellow which will add blues take down the magenta will add green okay. so it add a nice filter uh, on the wall image now if you want to add uh, for example only a color in the um, shadows then use blacks and maybe we want magenta in the blacks and you can have stronger blacks or lighter blacks well <laughs> should go too far that's ugly but let's say we want it to be like one percent up and we added a color only in the shadows this is the same with the highlight, which is white. Let's say I want yellow in the highlights. It's very subtle. I don't even know if you can notice it. Look at the sky here. So you see it's only uh, the highlights. Okay. And now the gradient map. So gradient map, you double click on the map here and then this tool works uh, that way so here let's say i want to use complementary colors so here you choose your shadows here this is the highlight and here the mid tones so i want uh, some blues cyan blues like dark blue in the shadow so i want some orange light orange in the highlight okay i click okay and then there is two options you click on your adjustment layers and then you have an opacity option here you bring it down and then you choose between uh, 5 and 20 percent and you can see that it had a nice filter if it's too much you just uh, bring it down and that will be more subtle sometimes when you have a lot of adjustment with mask it helps to uh, have a nice filter on top of everything so it will help to smooth out uh, everything 
so the other option is to have the gradient map at 100% and then choose the layer mode. So here I would recommend overlay or soft light. Here I'm going to choose soft light and then drag it down. You can go uh, up 20% when you change the layer mode. So that makes a stronger effect. And you can choose. You can you can even try the other mods if you want. You could find interesting things. So this is the uh, adjustment layers I like the most. So you have hue and saturation, curves, color balance, selective color, and gradient map. You can use all of them and uh, just mask out some parts. So for example, uh, if I wanted to keep that on uh, top, but then I want to uh, use the curves for the ground, for example, I'm going to do to show you quickly. Okay. Then a common eye to mask out B white color 100% opacity and flow to and then i brush on the mask so everything that i'm brushing is going to show because i am brushing in white let's brush those parts here okay Okay, so on, off, that was my blue adjustment using curves. Now I am going to use color balance uh, for the wall. Let's go to highlights. I want my wall to be orange uh, more towards the, um, the red. So I know uh, because uh, previously I used Adobe Color, I know that uh, there were a lot of blue in this wall, so I know I need to bring back some red and some yellow to change the color of my wall. So Command I to, to make the wall effect disappear, B to for the brush tool, X to have the white color, and now I'm brushing on the mask. So here you can see the difference. We're gonna see curves and color balance together. And you can see it's starting to make sense. So now I should do all of the adjustment layers and then I could do even more local adjustment, for example, only for the pole, uh, for the pole light, only for the light here, here and here. But um, yeah, so that's how I do it. That's the tool I use uh, with the mask. And uh, yeah, try it out on your photos. And of course, uh, like always, if you have any question, just uh, drop a comment below or send me a message at contact at louimagine.com. If you learned something in this video, please push the like button. It's helping a lot. And subscribe to see the next videos. I see you in the next one.